Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of MacWarrior Online, where we are testing out the Plasma Cannon today. We are taking the good old Cougar 8 in its full Omniset bonus here, I will talk about that in a second. And yeah, this new weapon system here, uh, the Plasma Cannon, it is something like a lighter PPC that also generates heat when it impacts the enemy, so we can now deliver heat at range. Sounds fantastic, right? In theory, yes, but at the same time, I feel like this weapon system is kind of falling behind its potential and it's not doing a lot. Anyway, we're gonna try it today. And I'm taking the Cougar here specifically because I wanted to be able to roam freely from the team and uh, be an, a, like a low priority target for the enemy so I can just shoot whenever I am on cooldown without being, again, focused down, being a priority. Therefore, the Cougar H, because it has access to ECM, so we are also shielded from the enemy sensors, which is fantastic. And we are running three plasma cannons here. We are off all of them on the arm so uh, that we can fire them like with very very little uh weapon convergence problems um thing is we have a heat scale limit of three which means if we fire a fourth plasma cannon at the same time we will generate ghost heat like extra heat and uh, as you can see the damage output of a plasma cannon is four and a half which is honestly not a lot so damage wise they're not really super duper interesting for the investment of three tons it is fine. I mean, it's kind of like light PPC range, more or less, but less damage. And um, we have that kind of extra heat buildup. We generate 0 0.25 heat when we have an impact, which also is splashed, which means we have to, uh, the, the, like the heat will be uh, distributed to multiple components. That means we need to hit a center or a side torso so that the adjacent components are also hit uh, and we get the full impact of our heat that we build up. Otherwise, uh, if we only hit the arm, we only get a fraction of the, of the heat that we would normally deal and uh, that in of itself is also a huge problem um yeah we have basically have a heat buildup on the enemy of 0 0.75 heat with every shot is that a lot when looking at the clan double heat sink it dissipates 0 0.2 per second and if we have like 17 of them here uh you can do the math it's uh it's 3.4 3.4 heat per second dissipated when we add 0 0.75 do we have a massive impact on the enemy a little bit, a little bit, when they are engaged, because then we add heat on top of the weapons that they fire, and then they are getting into like trouble at some point. But I really have the feeling that whenever I was shooting at the guy, they weren't stop shooting. They, they didn't do it. And therefore, is it worth it? We don't know. We don't know, because we have no uh, information on how much heat damage we actually dealt in the in the end screen. It would be great if we could get that metric, by the way. PGI, if you're listening, uh, give, give us a bit more information in the end screen. Damage is not everything. I want to also see how much heat we build up on the enemy to actually gauge if this weapon system is good. Other than that, it is a, it's a weapon that deals a bit of damage. Our alpha strike is 13.5. The cooldown is okay. The range is okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to play it extremely opportunistic. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using lower arm actuators, uh, because uh, first of all, I'm full with double heat sinks. And secondly, I, I don't like it. I actually like it having only uh, to move up and down and my torso speed is good enough to aim sideways it's a thing that um i am used more to now in terms of skills we are going for max cooldown range and heat gen because we need every little help that we can get to pump out that damage every single little bit velocity is also helpful so that we don't have to lead our shots so much we got skeletal density armor hardening and cool run and heat containment again it's all for dps and survivability of course we're gonna run enhanced ecm because Without it, we would be able, to, oh, my enemies would able, be able to target us in medium range. I'm also taking greater deprivation because there's the occasional counter ECM. And then I want to be able to break the locks by diving down to cover. We have one value point here in the consumable slot that is filled with an artillery strike and the cool shot, just in case. And yeah, I wanted to quickly talk about this here. We have a bunch of quirks on this guy and I kind of wanted the uh, Omni bonus here because it gives us a 10% energy heat, which is actually needed and also a five percent cooldown from um yeah from the eight piece omnipod bonus so we have a you know, a decent cooldown bonus of i think a total of 10 percent or something also uh with the h variant here we have jump jets and i think this is very much needed for a build like that which is uh, very active very agile uh we want that verticality so we can get our targets in front of us and then dive back down to cover that's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have it, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. 
Alrighty guys, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Domination. Let's see what we can do with our plasma cannons. Oh my god. The thing is that um, they're not really dealing a lot of damage. They have an okay rate of fire, but they also have an okay-ish heat buildup. So let's try to find a nice flanking position and try to overheat our enemies while not overheating ourselves. We'll see about that. So this guy's already spotted. That's great. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the Echo 4 area, meeting up with the other guys. We have jump jets, so that's cool. We can use them to get some elevation. Got a storm crow situation over there. Hmm, interesting. I also want to know and see if there's anything else over the ramp. Quick check. Look, mom, I'm flying. Oh, there's a guy. Haha! -ha! That's a 13 and a half damage or so? <laughs> oh my god. Try again. There he is. Uh, I'm gonna go for the other guy, which I did not hit. But my jumps are ready. Ah! Stop moving in random directions. Ah, uh, it's fine. Okay. It is fine. Uh, let me go around because... Uh oh My friends are fighting here. Oh, don't shoot me in the butt, please. I need to, to go. I need to get out of here. I don't know why we are not taking the circle. Um, but okay. If my team decides, then my team decides. Okay, get up here. There's a fight happening, huh? Who's fighting there? Why are you fighting there? Is that a guy I can hit, potentially? Uh, that's a guy I can hit. Also, that's a guy I can get hit by. Ho <laughs> ho My ECM is countered. Oh yeah, there's a Stormcrow. Not hittable. They have a bunch of people there on Overwatch. I, I don't want to be here, actually. This is bad. It's real bad for me. Okay, we got the Crow. That is something. Um... Okay. Okay. They're watching this. <sighs> I hate it. Okay, let's get up. They're still here. This uh, heat buildup means very little, by the way. Uh, because they are not engaged, and therefore they can cool down before they do it. New target. Okay. But hey, 13 damage! And again. And again. Uh, I mean, this might be good now, because now they are actually engaged. ECM is counted. Oh, people are coming from behind. We gotta go. We gotta go. Whoop. Ah! Okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get out of here. Stay on the Banshee. Oh, I feel like I'm having no impact on the battlefield at all. What about the Vapor Eagle? Should I hit that? Okay, I dropped Artie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, hello. Uh-oh, oh, hello. Ooh, where to go from here? I'm gonna stay with my big boy. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Let's get out of here. Sorry. Just passing through. <laughs> Everybody's stacking on top of each other. Hey, Cicada. Oh man, it feels like we are so weak. So weak. Okay, this is a target I can hit. We need to hit better though. Better, I said. Not worse. Do we go there? Uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> okay, let's jump up. Uh, and uh oh, uh oh. Mistakes. Mistakes were made. I want to go back again. At the same time. At the same time, we're fine here. We are we are so wild in terms of ups and downs here. Okay, let's stay on the Fafni. He's not going for me. But I I cannot shoot him. I mean, I can shoot him, but I'm not dealing damage to him. Ah, uh, too risky. Way too risky. There's a Blood Asp. There's the Fafni. Uh, is he killable? Possibly? I'm alone. Why? Don't want to be alone? I don't want to be alone. Let me get out of here, please. <laughs> what a weird fight. There's a guy. Cicada. I cannot fight a cicada, I think. Oh, actually, I can. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. He's cored. Hey, cicada. What about you? Uh, your pulses? Okay. I got heat. Ah, uh, it's incredible. Why? <laughs> Why did I not kill him? <laughs> oh, what a joke. What a joke. Viper F. That Viper is gonna kill me. I'm gonna try to help out here against the Blood Asp. <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy thing. This weapon system needs tweaking, I think. What? What? Oh, there's a thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Viper in our backs. Okay, he's dead. 
Uh, I should go and turn around because the Viper is one of the last guys. <laughs> oh my god. It is a weird weapon. I feel like I dealt 200 damage in this fight. Maybe even less. Maybe even less. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So Viper is dead. We weren't fast enough. Uh, let me try to reach around again. We are completely in the... Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, completely in the circle. Got the Moonwalker at 400 meters. I tried to be helpful with heat and damage. Mostly heat, I guess. Plasma cannon. Whoop. And again. Never mind. He overheated. He overheated. He overheated. Look at that. <laughs> this is my kill. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. I have no idea what impact I had on the battlefield heat-wise. However, we dealt 540 damage. Maybe it is not that bad after all. I mean, on a light mech like that, I am fine with it. I'm actually fine with it. 542 is good on, uh, on a Cougar. I, I mean, in, in comparison to my team, I was not far behind. Interesting. Guys, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys. Second game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City. We're playing Domination. So let's get into the center of the map and then poke our enemies with our plasma cannons. Oh my god. These weapons feel so flimsy. It's, it's just not doing a lot. And again, the heat buildup as well. Is it worth it? I feel like this weapon needs tweaking. Like, a lot of tweaking. Make it so that we can fire more of these bad boys at the same time, at the very least, or something. I don't know. Three is not a good heat scale limit, I feel. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we're here. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to get into the circle and try to shoot our enemies. Uh, the race is on first lap. I mean, we can go left side, Echo 4, Delta 4. Um, we can counter-rotate. Uh, it's always an option. Uh, affirmative, affirmative is what I hear. Uh, alrighty then. Although, I have my weapons on my right arm, so... Eh, going around the right side is technically better for me. Um, nah, let's see what we get. Can I get up here? Oh, there's a roof above my head. There is a roof. Nah. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, I think it seems like we are the vanguard here. Do we take a massive amount of damage? By going in like that? Uh, I don't... I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's let's get out of here. It's also too quiet. Um, if... I feel like the enemies are also counter-rotating. There's nobody here on the flank. So, Echo 5 should be hot. Um... Maybe center, maybe middle. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he's faster than I thought. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Cheetah? An Arctic Cheetah! He is moving more or less backwards, though. Is it worth hunting him? Oh, it is not. This is totally not worth it. There's a Battlemaster waiting. I have a Battlemaster on Delta 4. What were you shooting? Was I shooting? No. A again, the stupid roof. Get out of here. Okay, we'll, we'll try. Gotta aim a little bit more. It's a, it's a tough, tough needle thread there. What? What? No, not like this. Not like this. But you know what? I can get hit. That's that's what. We're gonna go with our friend the Jager Mac. Oh my god, I cannot hit anything here for the love of Kerensky. Battlemaster is a very good target for us to try to overheat. Because of the lasers and whatnot. Gonna go around now. Uh, try to make myself a bit wider here. See if I can find an enemy that is unaware of our position. Check this out real quick. This is scary. Also, I am... Um, not currently shooting my weapons, and I need to be always shooting in order to deal some damage. Uh, it was pointless. Pointless flank. Uh, not completely, though. Yeah, enemies seem to be in the center. I'm gonna try uh, to surround them. Yeah, they're in our back now. Let's cut across the center. Uh, <clears throat> says the guy that's on the flank, but I am an ECM overheater. So, let's see what we can do here. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go for heat vision. I think we can do something with that. Oh, there's a guy? No. It's a hologram. Okay. Oh, we found him. We found them. Alright, here we go. We're gonna stay on the high ground. Try to overheat the hot boys. And then we drop. 
Totally on purpose. Totally on purpose. <laughs> Alright, try again. Without dying. I don't like it. I'm exposing my arm too much. Okay. Stay in motion vertically. Another hit. Uh, and another one. No, not quite. But we have that guy. Here's the blood asp again. Oh, he's half dead. Ah, okay. So, uh, we are actually winning this fight. Big time. We even get a kill? <laughs> What's that? A kill? With plasma cannons? What? Why? Oh, there's a dude. Uh, we're gonna go for Rhino. Oh, yeah, it's Jay-Z. Bad shot, come on! I need to hit every, thi every single thing here in order to perform with this mag. Yeah, you want the angle, right? I want it too. Hey. Hello. Jay-Z. Timby. Sure. We are dominating here, but this is a brawler, which is a problem. Okay. Try again. Blammo. Down he goes. Wow, 8 and 0 so far. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Big Assault Max. Okay, try again. It's time for the cool shot, I believe. And it's back. Good. And again. Yes, perfect. Where's the little guy? Alright. Max shots, huh? Not like this. Ooh. Nah! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, my aim here on this map, not so good. That I can tell you. So, ah, uh, there he is. Uh, on the high ground? Nightshare. Okay, you got this. You got this. 12-0! Yeah! Team! You escalated. Did you need my help? No. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's a big no. Uh, I, we did we did a thing or two, right? We did like 300 damage, maybe. Hey, 388. We did, hey, we got a kill. We got three components. We certainly applied some heat. I mean, we didn't do as much damage as the arrow with its machine gun shredding capabilities, but in general, we were kind of in the middle ground for a light mag. <sighs> not so bad, but again, this weapon needs help. It's not great. I cannot uh, estimate how much it actually feels, how much impact you get when you get hit by those plasmas uh, in terms of your own heat, how much suppression we will uh, actually get, how much overheat we get, because there is no number, there is no metric for it. We cannot see what's going on there. Uh, and that is a little bit uh, of a shame. We can only see the damage output here, which is okay. We almost dealt 400 damage. But then again, the impact of heat, nobody knows. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.